Marty, I know you and your team at Ping have uh, just come out with some new wedges. Uh, and I'm sure you don't do anything by accident. Tell me how you started out designing this new wedge. Yeah, Stan, well, we've really taken a unique approach here where we've taken what we call a hands-down approach. Let's take a look at how the best players, short game players in the world, grip the club, how they control their trajectory, and can we design a grip that allows them to have more shot making capability, a, a better canvas, so to speak. So we've designed the dial a wedge grip, and it's longer in length, so you have more real estate to grip down, and you have a couple markings here that, to help you give you some indicators for, for shot making. So it'd really give them a reminder if they wanted to hit the certain club different distances, they could grip down and kind of gauge how far does that shot go from that grip position. So we've designed it for both. It could control your trajectory or shots around the green you want to grip down. Now we have a grip that allows you to do that. Do you use a standard shaft or did you come up with something new there? Yeah, so this is a brand new shaft called the CFS wedge shaft. What we've done with the glide wedge is we've actually increased the overall weight of the club a little bit but we've lightened the swing weight of the club, and that helps control, the, obviously, the feel and the closure rate. Tell me about the golf club and the, and the head design. Yeah, so we've done a lot of things with the head design. We've made the hosel a little longer, has a little nice tapered look to it to get a little more offset. That gives you a little more ball capture. We make these in three different sole widths, the TS, SS, and WS, and we can use those different widths of the sole to fit golfers for different playing conditions and different techniques that they have. So you can fit kind of the player and also the conditions of what part of the country they play in. Yeah, absolutely. We've looked at not only the geometry of the club, so we've made the lead edge a little softer. We've improved our manufacturing process so they're all very consistent part to part. But we've also chosen a finish that has lower friction between the club head and the grass or anytime there's any type of moisture in there, the finish repels that. Uh, moisture out of the way, reduces the friction so you get better glide through the turf. So it doesn't really get stuck going through the turf as much all the way down to the finish. Exactly. So grooves are often a big topic. Where did you go with that? From a launch and spin standpoint, we know that not only just maximizing spin is very important for performance, but we want consistency. We put a groove geometry in the higher lofted wedges, 56 through 60, that's more optimized for chipping and pitching, those shorter shots around the green, where the ball's not deforming as much during the impact. So I have students all the time asking about that chip to mid-range wedge shot, and this is gonna help them be more consistent on those shots. What they're gonna see is improving consistency, a little lower launch angle, and a little more check. Fantastic, I'm excited to hit one. All right, let's see it. Ooh, how good is that? I think it'll work. <laughs> <laughs>